days, he celebrated his 43rd birthday and his third year as an amputee. He encourages others to find the positive in the negative. Welcome, Bruce. got my off-road foot on tonight, so. <laughs> Anyway, ask me a question. What hand have you been dealt in life? Perhaps you feel you've been dealt that hand unfairly, as if we actually had a choice in the matter. So, when I was born, on my first day of life, I had the lucky opportunity to be one out of 1,000 people born with a severe birth defect, known as a club foot. So I would spend my childhood going through life with uh, surgery after surgery. My first surgery, I was two weeks old, and my last one, I was 17 years old. On top of that, I would also develop a severe speech impediment where I could stutter and barely say a word to save my life. And if that wasn't enough, one more thing, I would develop uh, Tourette syndrome. I would actually be diagnosed with Tourette syndrome, a mild case, late, later on in life. So despite these challenges, I managed to find a career as a truck driver for 13 years. And I chose this career path because I was isolated. I was away from people. I didn't want to be around anyone. And I was able to make some money at the same time as I drove across the country. But I knew ultimately that one day my road would come to an end due to foot pain, arthritis, and scar tissue. My ankle was self-fusing. And that day came on December 6, 2009. So, I started researching what other people with a club foot had done and started talking with other medical professionals and it was soon determined that I would actually benefit from a below the knee amputation. So, after months of contemplation, I set the, birth, the uh, surgery up for my 40th birthday on May 24th, 2010. Not because I couldn't think of a better gift to give to myself, because Lord knows I could. Um, it was an opportunity for me to close one chapter in my life and start writing a new one. But that would be easier said than done, because you see, to the party of amputation I would bring with me, my childhood baggage of depression, being bullied, um, thoughts of teenage suicide. And compounded with the thoughts that I failed my family, I'm not a man anymore, I lost my identity, what am I going to do now? I thought I'd be doing my family and everyone around me a favor if I would just get rid of myself. Ultimately, I would not do that. And I did not see that there was a changing point coming in my life. And that changing point came, of all places, on Facebook uh, by a gentleman by the name of Mike Shea. And he too is a below the knee amputee. In fact, he's in the Paralympics. And he showed me that there's things that I could still do in life. And I just needed to be real willing to reach out and reach down and pick up the pieces and start to live again. So I started to surround myself with other people on Facebook and who were amputees. And I started to see their accomplishments and their successes and what they've done. And I started to feel this flame start to rekindle back in my life and uh, I started to realize that there, that there is hope for me and so I started to put myself out there and soon after that I found myself enrolled at a community college where I would finish four semesters with a 4.0 GPA and I would also have the opportunity to serve on the Student Government Association as the Vice President of Campus Life for one semester. And I learned things about myself that I never knew because I've been told my whole life, you can't do this, you can't do that. And then at the beginning of this year, I found myself strapped to a snowboard going down a mountain. And despite falling on my butt and getting snow, snow shoved up my nose, I realized that I love this sport. And it's the first sport that I've ever been able to try. A few months ago, I had the great opportunity to ride 25 miles here in Fort Collins and bike MS and raise over $500 to support others who live with a disability or multiple sclerosis. 
So through all of this, I've learned that positive thinking does have positive outcomes. I used to be the kind of guy that even if I had a glass, it was half empty. And now I find that my glass many times over is half full and flowing over with life and life more abundant. Growing up, even though not grammatically correct, my dad had a saying that can't never did anything. And I still hold on to that today and I refuse to take can't as an answer. So as I stand here tonight and share my story with you, what card do you hold? How are you going to define it? Or are you going to allow that card to define you? Not all of us are lucky enough to have the ace in the hole. Thank you.